Hello students, how are you? I hope you are well. So today uh, I am going to discuss about coordinate geometry. So I am going to solve some problem from exercise 22a. So first problem is write the abscissa of each of the following points. So I am going to find the abscissa of 0, 5 and minus 2, 4. So as you know that the first value is for x and second value is for y. So, write the abscissa. Abscissa means we have to take the first value of this point. Okay. So, one number is abscissa is 0 and two number is abscissa is minus 2. It is three number problem students. So, uh, from this point the abscissa is 0 and from this point the abscissa is minus 2 and the second value is called ordinate. So in the question 2 we have to find the ordinate. So problem 2 is write the ordinate of 4, 0 and 2 number is 5 comma 2 ok so here the ordinate ordinate means we have to take the uh, second value so here ordinate is 0 and 2 number ordinate is 2 the second value is the ordinate ok and first value is the abscissa I hope you understood. Now problem number 3. We have to plot some points. So plot. We have to plot now. Uh, one number is A. 4, 3. Two number is. Minus B. Minus 2, 5. Okay. So, to plot these points, we have to take one graph paper. So, at first, we have to draw the axis. So, we have to draw two axis, x axis and y axis. So, at first, we have to draw x axis. and then y axis so here we have to write x and here x dash and here it is origin it is y and y dash so students as you know that from the origin to the right hand side we have to take the positive values and from origin to the left hand side we have to take the negative value of x Similarly, from the origin to the up, we have to take the positive value of y and to the down, we have to take the neg negative value of y. So, here at first we have to take the positive values and then here we have to take minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5 and minus 6. Similarly, here we have to take these points and here minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. Okay. Now we have to plot the points. The points are A43 and B minus 2, 5. So at first I am going to uh, plot uh, A43. So here A43. So 4, so uh, as you know that uh, in the uh, point 4, 3, in this point, so this is the value of x and this is the value of y so 4 so at first we have to take 4 to the right hand side from the origin so 1 2 3 4 it is the 4 and then from here we have to take 3 so since the value of y is positive then we have to go towards up so here the point is a 4 3 okay now similarly we have to take minus 2 5 so in this point 
minus 2 is the value of x so x is negative so you have to go towards left so here you can see that this is minus 2 and from here we have to go towards up because y is positive so 1 2 3 4 5 so this one is it is b minus 2 5 i hope all of you understood very good next problem number 4 so i am to going i am going to show you uh, 4 problem number 2 p11 q 2 2 r 3 3 and s 4 4 so these are the points p11 q 2 2 r 3 3 and s 4 4 the problem is plot each of the following points on a graph sheet and verify that they lie on a line. Okay, so at first we have to plot these points. So for this we have to draw axis. So at first we have to draw x axis. And then y axis. So, it is origin x, x dash and y, y dash. Now, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Here, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6. Here also, we have to take the positive values. And here also, we have to take the negative values okay now we have to plot the points so first point is p11 p11 so that means x1 and y1 so the point is this it is p11 second one is q22 so we have to move towards right so it is 2 and then towards up it is 2 so it is q22 Similarly, we have to take R33. Three, three. So, 1, 2, 3 and 1, 2, 3. This one is R33. Three, three. And then S44. Four, four. So, this one is 4 and 4. So, it is S44. Four, four. So, these are the points. Okay. Now, after plotting, we have to verify that they, the points are lie on a single line or not so try to draw one line so after drawing the line it is shown that all points are lie on a single line so that means it is verified understood everyone next so uh, problem number five the problems are same here also we have to plot some points and we have to draw one straight line. So it is similar to 4. Now I am going to show you problem number 6. So we have to uh, plot the points A1 to B4 to and C1 4. These are the points and we have to find fourth point d in order to complete the rectangle so we have to find the fourth point d so that it forms a rectangle a b c d so at first we have to plot these points A1 to B43 and C14. So for this we have to take one graph paper and we have to draw x axis and y axis. So this one is x axis and this one is y axis 
now you have to write the values on the axis and here also we have to take the values okay so after this we have to plot the points so first point is given that a 1 2 a 1 2 so 1 and 1 2 so this one is a 1 2 then second value is b 4 2 second point is b 4 2 so 1 2 3 4 4 and 1 2 2 this one is b 4 2 third point is c 1 4 so 1 1 2 3 4 this one is c 1 4 now students to form a rectangle we have to join these points So join AB and AC. So as you know that the opposite sides of a rectangle are equal. So that's why you have to draw like this. That the opposite side will be equal. So the fourth point is you can see that the fourth point is this. And what is the value of this point? 1, 2, 3, 4 and 1, 2, 3, 4. This is D. 4 4 so our required point is d 4 4 understood i hope all of you understood next next problem is uh, problem number seven locate the points this is this and find the fourth point d so it is similar to problem six okay so now i am going to solve uh, problem number 9 problem number 9 uh, plot the points A24 and B42 A24 and B42 we have to plot these points and after this, we have to extend the line. After joining A and B, if we join these two points, A and B, we will get one line. And then if we extend this line segment, uh, both the sides, then it will cut x axis and x axis and y axis. And we have to find the points on the x axis and y axis. Okay, so that's why we have to, at first we have to take one graph paper and plot the points. So draw the axis first. So it is x axis and it is y axis so at first we have to plot the points so first point is a24 so before that we have to take the points on the axis it is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 this one is minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 and minus 6 here also we have to take the positive values and here also we have to take the negative values ok now after this we have to plot the points so first point is A24 so here it is 2 and 4 is 1 2 3 4 this one is A 4 and the second point is B 4 2 so 1 2 3 4 1 2 this one is B 4 2 now students after this we have to 
join these two points and extend to both the sides so it will be like this understood now you can see that this line cuts the x axis at this point and it is the point of 60 and this line cuts the y axis at this point and it is the point of 06 now we have to write the answer that what is the uh, question what are the coordinates of the points where this line meets x axis and y axis so we have to uh, write the answer like this therefore the coordinate the coordinate of x axis is 60 and the coordinate of y axis is 06 I hope all of you understood students so this line cuts the x axis at 60 and y axis at 06 now students I am going to discuss some uh, problem from exercise 22b exercise 22b so first question is in which quadrants does the point p36 lie p36 so this point in which quadrant so as you know that there are four quadrants it is first quadrant second third and fourth and as we discussed before that if x and y both the values are positive then it will lie on first quadrant okay so it will be the answer will be first quadrant understood because both are positive so when x are positive it will move towards right and then when uh, y is positive then it will go towards up so that means it will lie on the first quadrant similarly uh, if we uh, in the question 2 it is asked that minus 7 minus 1 in which quadrant this point will lie so when both are negative so x negative that means it will go towards left and then y is negative that means it will move towards down so that means it will lie on third quadrant so the answer will be third quadrant okay students and question number three a two minus three so in which quadrant this point will lie so here students you can see that the value of x is two that means positive so that means it will move at first it will move towards right and then the value of y is negative so that means it will move towards down so it is it will lie on fourth quadrant okay and similarly minus 4 1 minus 4 1 in which quadrant so you can see that the value of x is negative so that means it at first it uh, it will move towards left and then the value of y is positive so it will move towards up so it will it will lie on second quadrant so answer is second quadrant i hope all of you understood now you have to practice this whole chapter at your home thank you students